He created you for his pleasure. This is why I'm grieved when we choose in life a mission different than Jesus mission that he gave us, which is the great commission and the great commandment. The great commandment is to. Love one another. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and love one another and God's and Jesus great commission is go into all the world and preach the gospel. Go into all the world and tell them about me. Tell them I love them. Tell me I will save them. Tell them I love them. Tell them I've saved them. Tell them it's not about religion. It's all about relationship. Tell them it's going to be OK. All they have to do is put their trust in me. Putting God first is for his glory and for our good. In Genesis 11, four, it says the people said to each other, Come, let us build for ourselves a city, a tower with its top to the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves. Look at how much self is involved here in Genesis 11. When they built the Tower of Babel, they thought they could build it to heaven and God confused their language and they failed to build it because what were they doing? They were using their lives and they were using their agreement and they were using their unity to build something for themselves. They said, come, let us build for ourselves. It's selfish. Come, let us build for ourselves. Don't you see? We see the selfishness there, right? And the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves. Listen, this is all self-centered. Let us build for ourselves. Let's make a name for ourselves. And otherwise we'll be scattered over the face of the earth. And that's exactly what happened, because when you live for self rather than for God, your life is going to just be scattered. It's just going to be wasted. You're going to build something for yourself and you're going to try to make a name for yourself. There's so many people that have made a name for themselves in social media. They're called influencers. Don't let them be your influencer, though. That's not your church. That's not your fellowship. That's not your community. Instagram, TikTok, blah, 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 all of them. That's not your community. You can f have some fun with it. But we got to be delivered from the addiction to it because we're opening up our accounts before we're opening up our Bibles. We're opening up our phones before we open up our heart to God. He said when they put themselves first, let us build for ourselves, let us make for ourselves. Wrong. Let's build for his glory and let's make a place for him. Let's live for him. Let's build his church. Let's reach this world with the gospel and let's build his church. You know, Jesus said in John 5, 39 in the New Living Translation, you search the scriptures because you think they give you eternal life. But the scriptures point to me. The scriptures point to me, John 5, 39, New Living Translation. The scriptures point to me. I wish we would understand we're not in a Bible contest with people to try to slam them with our theology. He says you search the scriptures because you think they give you eternal life. But the scriptures point to me. What he's saying is he is the one that gives eternal life. And we should read the scripture to point us to Jesus, not to point out all that we're doing wrong. The scriptures point to me, the, the scriptures point to Jesus, the scriptures point to the finished work of the cross. The scriptures point to Jesus for those that came before him and for G to Jesus for those that came after him. But in every sense, the scriptures are pointing to him as the center of our lives and Jesus as the center of the universe. And Jesus is standing in the center of heaven before the throne of God. He's seated at the right hand of the father, but he's also standing there in between the father and us so that we can go to the father through Jesus. Amen.
He said, yet you refuse. He said, but the scriptures point to me. Yet You refuse to come to me to receive this life. Verse 40, you refuse to come to me to receive this life. Then verse 41, one of my favorite verses, your approval means nothing to me. We have to realize we're living in a world where every person almost who has a cell phone. Is looking for somebody's approval. And we have to get to this place. When we could say. Your approval means nothing to me. My approval comes from God. I was God's idea. And my approval comes from him. This is why he redeemed you, because you were made for his glory. This is why he blesses you, because you were made for his glory. This is why he helps you, because you were made for his glory. It's impossible for God to unlove himself. Therefore, it's impossible for him to unlove you. For him to stop loving you would cause him to stop being God. And that is impossible. God is love. And as soon as he's not love, he ceases to be God. That's why it's not possible for him to stop loving you. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I want you to know how grateful I am. And if you want more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that we can stay connected. I also want to invite you to join me live every Sunday right here on the Gregory Dickow YouTube channel for our Sunday morning worship experience featuring music and worship from Life Changers Worship and a powerful word from the Lord Jesus Christ to you. We go live every Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Time. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notifications bell so you don't miss it. I can't wait to see you next time. God bless.